Welcome everyone back to RimWorld. Today the main goals are to finish up this perimeter wall. We only have this small section left, so we should be able to finish that pretty quickly. And, you know, there's a few patched holes from the raid at the end of last episode, but that should be fine. And that that's kind of the minor goal. The major goal today is to actually get in a Project Rim Factory. I've said the past few episodes, even last episode I said we were going to get into it, but we haven't, so... We're definitely going to get into it today. I honestly don't care how long this video will run. So, I look forward to that. And I'm just going to plant those building over here in preparation. Just so that we can get into it immediately after we finish the research needed. So, there we go. So, a quick little update. First off, we are mostly... I think we, have, we haven't... On the outer wall, we haven't progressed that much. But on this inner filter point, we've... We're mostly done with it now. All we got to do is build the last of these steel embrasures, just like that. And then I'm just going to manually reinstall all of these along like that for maximum coverage and attack effectiveness. We also recruited Barker from the prison. She is good at shooting animals, artistic, and intellectual. Right now she's doing the resource console to uh, make chem fuels so that we can power our two chem fuel power plants. And then we just had a cannibalistic supplier show up. So let's trade with them. They might have someone who we want to recruit. I don't know. So they have Tinny, who is 13 artistic, 6 plants, and this person isn't that good. Richie. Well, this person's horrible. Fluff. 4 plants, 17 animals. Okay, that's not horrible, but you're incapable of dumb labor. Bloodlust Tough Wimp. Okay. It's kind of interesting. 10 Melee, 9 Artistic, 7 Animals, I guess. Not that great. And Carolyn. 13 Cooking, actually, but depressive and incapable of labor. That's honestly not that great. So I think we're just going to sell off some of the stuff we have here. Like this, Psychic Sooth Pulsar and Ambrosia. Anything else that we want to sell off? I'm going to keep the Knee Spike just in case. I guess we can sell off some of these clothes that we really wanted to. I don't think we really need to. They don't have anything that we really want to buy here, so I'm kind of fine with that. We just gained 882 silver. There we go. Again, we have another little bit of an update. I have decided to put it a bunch of paths around here just to make our people walk faster if you didn't know when you walk on basic soil it's only 87 percent walk speed and on normal tile if we go over here it is 100 percent walk speed so that'll just allow them to to move around a little bit faster and i've also put meditation spots around this anima tree because i think one of our people does have a tribal background i believe i think for some reason i yeah, here it is. I think Alligator is, would be able to be a psychic, but she is psychically dull. I thought there was one more person. And either way, it's just a more effective meditation method because it's like an anima tree, so it's kind of special. So, that's what I did. And we also finished up our perimeter wall and our filter point. We now have... We also finished Gold Batch's conjecture as well. But... Right now, we have all of our steel embrasures mm -hmm. down. They have their sandbags. We finished the entire perimeter wall, so all of this is filled in. I've also started reinforcing some of the doors so that they it's harder to break in because last time they broke through here. And that's kind of what I've been doing, and we're only one more research project away from getting the plasma drills. Alright guys, we have our first threat of the day, and it's not actually going to be that big of a threat, because just as the Lax Union came onto the map, some tribes people, the um, Royal Tribute Collectors came. So I'm honestly not all that worried about it. I'm still going to marshal our people over here because, you know, just in case. But uh, if they do decide to attack, they're just going to get annihilated. And we finally finished the Plasma Drills from Project Rim Factory, as we have a bunch of raiders outside. So we might as well queue up more research while we're here, 
But what do we want to go for? I would you I think self cooking would be pretty great. We can finish off this steel stockpile crates and then maybe go into modern furniture just to make our people happier. Because the more so this is the vanilla furniture expanded. Pretty much what it does is that in the spacer furniture you can gain recreation and but so you can gain recreation while eating sort of a, stuff like that so I think we're gonna go for steel stockpile crates self cooking automatic farming would be pretty cool too maybe wireless wireless item storage after that and then we can go into space or furniture unfortunately it looks like we're gonna lose a warg puppy here because it decided to not follow my instructions that's fine, honestly. We we can get more. Let's ignore that. What are they doing? You are. It looks like that. It looks like two of them are gonna try and flank around there. I don't know if you can go through deep ocean water. You might be able to. Yeah, Morg Puppy too has been shot to death. That's unfortunate. Anyways, again, this should just kind of be a massacre. We have our filter now. Yeah. Good fight, guys. QQ, they're fleeing. Okay, one person actually got hit. Alligator? Wow, that's actually kind of impressive. And uh, they're all down or dead. So we have Veno who survived. Pyromaniac, Nervous, Nimble. 13 plants, 11 melee. He's decent, but I really don't like the Pyromaniac trait. Great memory, Jealous, Nimble, Nudist. 10 artistic, 4 cooking, 4 shooting. Eh, it's not really worth recruiting either. So, um... Actually, we do need a new leg. So, uh, which one of you has a leg? Well, it looks like Veno is gonna be our willing... Willing... Medical experiment. Very legal, though. Nothing, nothing illegal is happening here. So we have a bit of a problem. We just had Toxic Fallout activate, which it kind of sucks because that means everywhere that we walk, if we're not careful, our people can get knocked out. And I don't, yeah, they haven't affected us yet. But eventually it'll go, get so bad that our people will get poisoned to death if they're outside for too long. So one way to counteract this is to simply build roofs everywhere, like roof over this entire place. I don't really want to do that, so I'm not. I don't really care if they get knocked down. We can always rescue them. But the main problem is that our water is getting poisoned. And if we don't have any water, then they can't, you know, wash. And then they go insane and start killing people. Um, <laughs> because that's how RimWorld works. So, we're unfortunately, we're going to have to cancel our research for now. And go for water treatments. Water filtration. There we go. Water filtration. And then... Left click to replace it. And then I'll just re all of this stuff after. Because, you know, it's kind of cool. So what I'm going to do here is that because we can now build the Plasma Drill Tier 3s, I think I'm going to put it right here. I'm, I've, I've measured it out so we can put one here, one here, one here one there and I think we'll be able to get a few of them down here so I'm gonna do that we need 1000 steel 25 components 50 plus steel an advanced machine frame and a weak AI chip we can make weak AI chips and we can also make one advanced machine frame but then we'll need to receive research advanced component fabrication because we won't be able to, we won't have any more advanced components after that. As you can see, we only have three left. So we've just finished the self cooking research, which will allow us to build the industrial cooker, the meat grinder, which automatically grinds up corpses, and the industrial food processor, which is similar to that, but to the industrial cooker, but it does it at a less rate. And it has a few more bills that are more of miscellaneous. So, we can actually remove our kitchen now, which is pretty great. I'm going to just do that. And once that's done, I'll show you guys what this can do. I'm actually going to get Jean on that right now. Prioritize deconstruction. 
I've also decided to just completely roof over most of the areas because our people just kept getting toxic buildup and it wasn't that great. There we go. Deconstructing. Alright. So now we can go into our industrial tab and go to the industrial food processor. It's actually fairly small. Uh, we want the industrial cooker actually. And we can put it down right... It depends on where we want to put it. We could put it right here and then put our output slot where the current stove is. Or we could put it over here and move all of the body processing over here. I think I'll put it there. I think that's fine. And we need a simple machine frame to craft that. So let's build one. There we go. It's actually five components, so fairly expensive. We've already finished the weak AI chip and advanced machine frame for our plasma drill tier 3. They haven't started building it yet because we can't really go outside and get more steel. So that's kind of a problem. But other than that, we're doing pretty well. I've put down the water treatment so we're fine on water. We're building up quite a bit of chem fuel storage. As you can see, 6,500 out of 10,000 liters. I've improved their bathrooms with just putting silver tiles in. It actually bo boosts it to a slightly impressive, which makes their happiness go up. I think that's about it. I've also started working on an armory over here, just because it's near the front line. So if any of our people are ever unequipped, we can quickly grab a weapon. Alright, so we've just finished the industrial cooker, and what we can do here is we can just set up all of our bills into this and it'll cook food for us. So let's say we wanted to cook simple meals, because I like simple meals. Well, I don't, but they're easy to produce on a mass scale. So 15 out of 40 right then, and then we can just change this to 20. Pause, unpause at 20. And just to make sure that we always are producing something, we can go 40, 20 on just producing one at a time so that we are always producing. And then what it'll do is that if we adjust its output direction, that yellow is its output. And then what it'll do, as you can see, it'll just pull from these baskets. Um, I got to make sure they don't put ambrosia into the meals. That would be pretty bad. But what it does is it just pulls it all in and cooks it. We don't need to cook anymore. It's got a cooking level of 10. So that's pretty decent. I don't think it cooks in ambrosia anyway. But what we can do here is we can just destroy that electric stove. We don't need it anymore. And then we can install our baskets around this and it'll just auto cook for us. We can also place down the meat grinder so that it'll grab all of the corpses that were placed into like this meat hook or a stockpile zone and it'll just auto grind them up and then we can place that meat next to us so that our simple meal cooker can just cook it for us. So I think I'm going to put that right around there and then I still got to reinstall a few things just to make this a little bit more efficient. Yeah, now that we have this butcher or the meat grinder we can use the butcher creature bill and it should just do forever we can't set its ingredient radius it'll just butcher everything in its white circle square around it and then we can just place all of the output directly into this which our industrial cooker can then use to process into more food so now that we've automated food production as in like making meals butchering up creatures let's automate crop production you know, we might as well. So if we go to our industrial tab and we go into the drone cultivator, it actually holds a pretty large radius. Um, how do we want to do this? So if we did something like that, it would encompass the entirety of our grape field as well as a few of the peppers. And then we would have to bring it down the growing zone a little bit more. And it would auto-sow, so we don't even need to sow the fields. So do something like that. That should encompass it all, right? No, it doesn't. Okay. Oh, it actually goes all... Okay, it's actually pretty, pretty large radius. There we go. So now that we've done that, we just need to do some tilled soil. Just to maximize efficiency, like that. And then we can move this 
wooden column. I just did that to hold up the roof around here. And then we'll have a fully efficient food production system. We automatically produce food. We automatically cook food. And the toxic fallout has just ended, so we can actually unroof now without having, you know, all of our people die from toxic, toxic fallout. So there we go. I'm just going to go through and do all this. So we just got the quest, the Emotionless Beast. Beasts. So a trader is calling. A pack of 25 wild muffaloes are hunting him. He wants your help to draw the animals away. And if we look at some of these rewards, they're actually really decent. So there's two bionic legs, which is... It's pretty good, honestly. It's a decent reward. There's a breezing sapphire bracelet, which will increase beauty and social impact. A bionic arm and 35 gold. And then there's this. A jump pack, but it's got a bunch of special things added onto it. First off, it's quality legendary. It's got a decent amount of defense. It looks like you actually need chem fuel to jump, which is kind of interesting, but we get five free jumps. And the infusions on it give it plus 50 max hit, hit points, 200% market value, plus 25% armor, plus 8% armor sharp, plus 8% armor heat, minus 2.3 minimum comfortable temperature, and then smelly mid-tech, plus 12 more hit points, 45% more market value, and a little bit of animal tame chance. I don't know, it's... <laughs> It's interesting, but I don't think it's worth it right now, especially because we don't have any chem fuel production or armor. So a melee person right now wouldn't be that great. But those two bionic legs sound really good, especially because I think Browning is one of our people. Is Starry is missing her leg, and then we could improve someone else. I think... Or we could get the bionic arm, which would increase someone's manipulation, therefore their work speed. Uh, I'm gonna accept that one. Just because the sapphire bracelet we can give to Arthur, or better yet, we could give it to Viper so that he can recruit people faster. The bionic arm can increase people's work speed, and the gold can be used to create advanced components. And as such, I've uh, devised a way to get away with dealing uh, uh, dealing with all those beasts without, you know, getting attacked. What I'm literally just going to do is I'm going to reinstall a granite wall right in front of it. So that when they come into our kill box, there's nothing they can do. They just get shot to death. And there we go. <laughs> Here is all of the muffalo. Do they have Scaria? Okay, unfortunately they do. If they didn't, that would have just been a ton of free meat. And what they should do now is they'll come through here. Or not. I think we might need to bait them down. Hmm. Okay. Who is the fastest person here? Arthur is not the fastest person. Actually, these two are... Oh, yeah. I bought I bought lungs so that I could replace their lungs. I still need to do that. Um, bite scar itchies. Okay. That's not ideal. You still have toxic buildup. A lot of you still have toxic buildup. So it looks like King is going to be the fastest here. So, um, congratulations, I guess? I don't know. It's, uh, not exactly something you want to do. Bait a bunch of manhunting muffalo into your base. It looks like they're coming anyway, so never mind. Let's deal with this. Alright, here they come. <laughs> Look at them all. Come on, alligator. Oh no, alligator. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Guys, guys, we need to seal this. Oh! She just, <laughs> she just barely managed to seal it. That's great. Okay. Come over here and just take pot shots at these guys for the next few hours. Oh no, guys, don't leave. That's not how this is supposed to work. That's annoying. Hey, deliver that wall. Are they going to come back? Yeah, they will. Okay. I guess I'm just going to have to do this for a while. Oh, that's a, that's a big problem. Um. Uh. Uh, I, I, I mistimed it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um. Attack that. 
King, you might want to go grab a weapon. Like, um, what do we have here? Sort of shotgun. That that sounds good for this case. Oh, he still did it though. Okay, that's that's kind of cheaty. I'm gonna be honest. Never mind, King. You can go back to sleeping or whatever you do. And there's only three of them left. They're all dead now. I think they're all dead. Yeah, they're all dead. On Marshall. And you can put this wall back there. So, uh, do we get our reward or, like, we haven't gotten our reward yet. Excuse me? Um, maybe I have to wait a little bit. Now that we might have to wait a little bit. Um, finish these guys off. Alright, that's what it was. I just had to finish off all of the, um, all of the muffalo. So now we have our Masterwork Breezing Sapphire Bracelet, plus 5% max HP, 5% more market value, and plus 5.4 Fahrenheit, maximum comfortable temperature. Let's give that to Viper, forswear that, haul that, and then I think I'm going to give this to Alligator. Just because she's our main crafter right now. She's got around 13 crafting, so she can craft most stuff. Arthur is also a good crafter with a double passion in it, but he's also our main researcher. What else can Alligator do? Alligator can do plants as well. Good shoot or shooting in melee. Yeah, I think I'm going to give the arm to her. Advil... Oh, okay, we need to bring it into our stockpile first, but after that I'm gonna give it to Mrs. Alligator and right now you're gonna see how the um, The meat grinder works. It's kind of simple. There you go It just pulls it directly from the meat hook it butchers them and then it puts it in here. Oh We have to I, I it's yeah, there it goes. It wasn't on an open spot. Ah, I didn't actually account for that. I didn't realize we still had fur in there. And again, we've just finished all of our research. We just got the wireless item storage research, which will allow us to wirelessly transfer and store items. As you can see here, digital storage unit. You can put stuff in here. It stores it. You can also do cooled storage, I.O. ports, all kinds of cool stuff. But before we can do any of that, we still need the plasma drill till th tier 3. Otherwise, we're not going to have the resources to do that. And for our next thing, we're going to go for self-correcting assemblers. And then, what do we want to go for next? I think after that, it'll be enough... Enough rim factory for now. We've done quite a bit with that. So what do we want to do? Industrial size temperature. No, thank you. That does sound kind of cool, but I don't really want to do that right now. We could go into the SAR or SRTS expanded mod, so it allows us to transport. Oh, I know what we need. We need um, chem fuel refining. That's what we need. Or sorry, biofuel refining. That's how we make chem fuel. We could also go for shield generators. That sounds kind of cool. That'll give us basic shields as well. After that, what do we want? Jump packs. Sounds pretty cool. Um, specialized limbs, recon armor. After that, I want, I'm, because I want to go into more of the psychic powers, we're also going to go for space for furniture. <laughs> I think that's enough research for now. That's quite a bit I just planned out. So let's see how far that takes us. I'm also starting all of the operations now, giving alligator the bionic arm. I'm using industrial grade medicine because I don't think our surgeon, even with, I think she's got like 16, uh, no, Viper, you're not a surgeon. Um, you are a nurse. Who, who else is trying to surgeon? Okay. A bit odd. Um, I think alligator will succeed in the, or king will succeed. There we go. But yeah, I think she'll succeed in all these. She has 16 medical, which is really, really high. And just as expected, she succeeded in everyone not failing at all. Oh, that's that's not good. Um, a group of mechanoids from the Zenslin me mech hive have arrived. Oh, okay. That's not actually that bad. There's two scythers, 
Okay, there's just three scythers. We can deal with that, right? Unless there's more, then, then we have a little bit of a problem. It doesn't look like there is. Okay. We'll be fine. Never mind. False alarm. Um, so the mechanoids did reach us, but they are actually carrying loot. Like, like this, this mechanoid here had eight components on him. John is about to get sliced up, though. Poor John. He always gets hit first. Whoa! Oh, the slicers just... The scythers targeted him first. Okay, that's fine. And then I think John will be okay. Or maybe not. Um, he'll probably be fine. There we go. And it... Come on, kill the scyther. Let's go, guys. Seriously. Six hours? Okay, he's fine. So a combat supplier has just flown into orbit above us, and honestly, it's probably the best thing we could have asked for. Because we can sell off all the crappy stuff that we have, like these hammers. Well, I'm gonna keep the plastic knife, but that's pretty much the only, only thing I'm keeping in terms of melee and tribal level stuff. So we can sell off all of our crappy great bows, short bows, the pilas. No one cares about that crap. Anyway. Sold it all off. We can sell the Molotov cocktails. Flash grenades. I want to keep, actually. I'm going to sell off the flak armor. Plasteel flak helmet. We can smelt down, so I won't do that. I'll sell the boots. Might as well. And let's see what weapons we can buy. They're selling a charge LMG. I will buy that. They are selling a battle rifle and a service rifles. All right. I am actually happy, uh, I didn't want that carbine, I want the service rifles. I am happy with that deal, that's quite a large weapon upgrade. And that was actually a pretty significant we weapon upgrade. All of our people have automatic weaponry to my knowledge now. Arthur has a service rifle, John has a charge LMG which is actually a pretty decent weapon, Viper has a battle rifle, again Browning has a service rifle. Alligator has the light SMG, Barker has the heavy SMG, and Starry has the machine pistol. And because King is a brawler and melee, she has nothing, but I'll probably give her a Persona weapon in the future. And there we go, we have just built our first Plasma Drill Tier 3, and it's gonna be her <laughs> first for quite a long time because it has a power slider, and at a minimum, it takes up 3,000 watts, which is quite a bit of power, so we're going to need to upgrade our power next episode, most definitely. But I just want to read its description really quickly. With the newest spatial technology, auto mining has been, have been more precise than ever. A little bit of an error there. And now, can now adjust what ores to mine and to even balance power for speed. It will set uh, the primary ore type and get bonus in rare ores and junk. So it'll just mine if we tell it to mine steel and do until we have around a thousand I think is a good number because I think it is. So now it should just auto mine and I'm going to unpause it at 500. This is going to use up all of our power but still you can see it's got a progression bar and this is at its slowest speed. I would like to mention. Mining. What's its help? Hi, okay, it's not actually help. So there you go, it's got a bar, and we just get straight up 40 steel. Anyways, I think that will wrap up this episode. I am definitely happy with this progress today. We managed to finish the outer perimeter wall. We got our filter set up. We got a bunch of research done. We improved their bedrooms, we got our new armory, we got a bunch of weapon upgrades, we got our plasma drill set up, we got a bunch of automated food production. We're gonna, next episode, probably near the beginning, we're gonna be getting automated, automated crop production and improving our power. So overall, I think today was our most productive episode of all. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy this episode, please like, share, subscribe, comment, any support that does get us out there is very greatly appreciated. Anyways, have a great day, and goodbye.